Ninja Online, guys. Welcome back to Craft the World. This is chapter 13. When we last left off... Let me think. Anything major? We really just worked on the, uh, the house. There wasn't really anything major that went on. Um, we had a... A, uh, monster wave just before we ended the episode. So that happened. Besides that, I can't really recall anything else, uh, major happening. Real quick, I just wanted to say, before we get too far into it, I hope you guys like the new intro. Um, you would have seen it by now, because you'll have seen it on my Two Worlds videos. You won't have, you won't see it on my, uh, Bioshock Infinite Let's Play, because, like I said, that's all, it's already finished. I'd finished that playthrough a little bit ago. So, um, and then it's all rendered out and everything. I'm literally just sitting on the videos right now. So I don't really, uh, hmm. So I don't obviously have it on that, but besides that, I have it on the, the Two Worlds videos. I'm gonna have it on these videos, and I think I'm just gonna have it on every video, basically. It's a nice little simplistic, uh, intro. I didn't want anything, like, flashy or anything like that, because, um... Oh yeah, that's right, I had them doing a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't want anything flashy or anything like that, just because I wanted to keep it simplistic into the nature of my videos. Like, I want it to be about... My videos to be, like, about the game, not how flashy, you know, I can make my intros and stuff, so. And that's not taking away anything from people that have, like, intros or nice intros or anything like that. It's just, that's just me. 72 of 105. We'll go ahead and pop another one, I guess. Shouldn't have replaced that. Now, I know I did just make one of those, so. I have at least one being carried somewhere. And like I, I do recall what I said I was going to do. I'm going to mine these minerals out. Then we'll go from there. I'm still working on the house, so. And obviously I'm gathering materials for when I need them. Because it's just easier to do it now. Than have to come back to it, I guess. So. Maybe I should hold off. I'll go ahead and drop the torch like right here somewhere. Once they dig that out a little bit. Oops. Go like that. Spider. And I got that in the inventory, so I'm almost uh, finished basic decorating. I don't know if I'll finish basic decorating from finishing off my house, but it'll definitely be uh, quick and easy to finish it off in the near future, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, it's passing. Wasn't sure what was going on with that tornado there. Look further down. Did they finish this off? They did. Go ahead and drop that there, I guess, yeah. I see more silver in the, the distance here. Dig up to it first, just so I can see what's what. I don't know how I missed that. Definitely want a torch there. Of how they're all standing around. Let's go ahead and shave this down even further. Uh, let's hold off on that, though. Do that. Open it there. Sixty-five comfort. That's not too bad. Um, the interior walls surprisingly don't add to the comfort, but when I do add more things into the base, it will uh, raise the comfort. Just something I can totally check here in a second. I just want to fill up the food. They're like pets. You can't forget to feed them. Now, I don't think it's as drastic as having pets. Because, I mean, they won't just outright die. But, I mean, they'll be a pain in the butt, so. There's one. Oh, yeah. Comfort items. 
I'd forgot literally like a moment after what I was looking for. Yeah, so I don't really have any comfort items right now, but I'll get some when I finish off basic decorating. We'll go ahead like that. I'm gonna let that portal run out. See if there's anything under here though. Do wanna head that way. So I guess I'm gonna continue opening portals here. Let me see how many more I'll actually need right now. Eight. one so I'm gonna have to make 90 and I have 10 right now so I need to make eight more so let's start with the easiest thing let's make eight more of these that way I can make eight more sets of that yeah cookbook right on Go ahead and get rid of that. Drop the torch there at least. Mm -hmm. Mummy's saber. So after all that time, I finally actually get one. <laughs> Been waiting for it for a while. I thought I would have got one much sooner. Rest. How much can I tempt fate? Uh, I don't want to go too, too close. Hoping I don't wake that thing up. I'm gonna keep a close eye over here for now. So if I wake it up, I'm gonna have to kill it, or like I said, it's gonna start digging digging tunnels out. And I really can't have that. Guess I can't really do that right now, eh? Definitely throw the torch there, though. Somehow I ended up with 11. 11. 11 things, so I realistically could have just made 80. And when I had the perfect amount, now I'm going to end up with, like, 9 extra, but... Or 10 extra. Am I on a boat? Oh well, I guess. And that way I don't have to worry about uh, constantly making it until I finish it off. I can just queue it all up and bam. We'll go from there. There's Ant Hive here too, of course. Things are literally everywhere. But it's fine. I'm just ignoring them for now anyways. Okay. It's not horrible. I got my 8. Make the 80. Now I basically wait. Well, I mean, I guess I don't have to make 80. I could have made 70. But... I'm gonna have new rooms in the future, so. It'll just help me start off, I guess. I don't know why he's carrying oil, because I don't recall 
making a craft order for it, so Ghosts must have been throwing it around or whatnot. It's the only thing I can think of. Shave all this down. Be able to get to that. Get to that. Right on, right on. This will probably take a while. Half expecting it to, at least. Should probably throw one over here, too. Okay. Build six ladders. And I built seven. Why don't we go harvest some of this crap? I think I'm Mason. Uh, Mason. I think I'm missing. Only I could talk normal. I think I'm missing a, a piece of wood from here. Wooden wall, anyways. Because I swear to God I had a piece of wooden wall here to square it up. Because if I had the wooden wall here, then I obviously had it here. Oh, boy. Are they all the same, by the way? The new ones? Well, they look damn near close anyways, so I would say so. Go ahead and finish this off at least. Like so. I'll wait for that to be done. Meantime, I'll oversee the progress up here as well. this off too I might as well well I think I chopped down one tree so far and killed that lamb and chicken uh, maybe not not sure if that's the same chicken or not now the chicken wouldn't have ran away so the only way it would be the same chicken is if a uh, tornado came through here and threw it across the map but I don't think so Bring this up. I have all new beds. One. One more new bed. So let's go ahead and see if I can get that together. Uh, I don't need magic light right now. And then once I replace the new bed, I'm going to replace the tables. Make them all large tables. I'd love to have another table, but... For now, I'm going to have to live with what I have. Because like I said, expansion really isn't a thing right now. Well, actually... No. It ain't, because I can go this way. But realistically, I can't unless I want to start terraforming and crap. I don't really feel like that right now. Well, I think they did a pretty damn good job strip mining, or strip mining. I guess it'd be clear cutting. Be the proper term, clear cutting the, uh, the trees out of here. Still making meat too, apparently. Grilled meat. Forgot about that, in all honesty. And it was funny, because I was looking right at the dwarves here, like, cooking the meat and, uh, hauling the meat. And I was looking right at that, and I was like, oh. I don't know what I was thinking. So I need three more tables. 
course, if I'm going to have better tables, I'm going to need better uh, chairs to go with them. Yeah. Looks like it's all the same in any case. Put the new bed down. Yeah, shit. I forgot it's gonna have to be made through the carpenter carpenter's workshop, so really it's just gonna slow me down. Uh, what else? Can make the potted flowers. Let's go ahead and make another crock pot. Did I need two pieces of clay? Did not realize. Yeah, I did. And from here, just gotta add the ingredients. Cool. Does it raise comfort? It does. Right on. Don't need that for now. Let's go ahead and throw it down here. We're just going to literally jam pack this uh, sleeping quarters down here for now. What else? Of course, I need planks for the leather, leather chairs. Leather. I have a hard time speaking right now, guys. Not liking it. I think the chairs were over here, though. The better chairs. Am I wrong, mayhap? Yeah, right there. Two forty-four. I'll hold off on the better chairs for now. They're trying, but they're not really succeeding in any aspect, I'd say. Let's go ahead and get this all set up. I might as well make that other table now, or one of the other tables, at least. I mean, it has to be done through the carpenter's workshop anyways, so... If anything, I should just make another carpenter's workshop, but... For all it's worth... It's not really worth it because I'm not going to need another one in the future, so. Make another one. I swear to God, it just showed two there in a second ago. Now, once I get these walls up, then it'll actually start looking pretty nice. these nasty little things jumping back and forth you know what they remind me of those Mexican jumping beans or whatever you'd hold it in one hand and it would like jump from one to another that's what they might remind me of in all honesty got a table let's put it in this like makeshift dining room so I got now for one on the table one table more. We'll go ahead and do that. Can't get through. Yeah, I guess not, eh? Shit. You don't really want to go over there anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. When I do the stone walls, too, I'm gonna do like this part and like this part. Not gonna do the whole like shaft or anything like that. Well, that's why there's a sign. It says, "Beware! Do not enter over there, and do not worry about entering over there." Need the water for me, though. And of course, all my doors just happen to be outside, and they run. The thing that annoys me is they run with the tornado, thinking that they're out they're gonna outrun the tornado or some shit. Like, look at this guy. 
He literally gets thrown from the fucking tornado and then runs back that way. And now he's gonna end up all the way over here. There's two of them too. Wonderful. Okay, you are gonna drown, so how about you stop being a dum dum? And you are drowning by the looks of it. Yeah, he is. I wouldn't really worry too much about what's going on over there. Go ahead, slam that table down, remove that one, and let's make that last one. Let's go ahead and start replacing some of these. Throw that one down too. Expert furnishing is now done. And it's not even the one that has the uh, the wooden wall sets either. Armor, armor, armor. That's what I thought. Tis what I thought. Once I get this armor though, then I can uh, raid this ant hive, clear it out, and then I'll start building down here. Eventually clear this one out too, but I can build this way for now. Not too concerned. I always click the background when I'm trying to click on something else and it drives me insane. To get the new table, I plop it down like so. 67%, so it's not spectacular, but it's something. Of course, they're all standing around. They might as well be getting me more lumber, I guess. Hell, I'll take the leaves, too. I can do a bunch of gathering for me at top while I wait. Drop a whole bunch of fish stew there. All the tables are moderately full. There we go. Now they're all full. Five minutes. Once that five minute mark hits, I'm going to send them all in here. Which is great for the carpenter dwarf, because then the carpenter dwarf can actually catch up on all this work. It's going to suck, because then the dwarves are just going to be standing around inside, but... Oh well. Alright, let's have them all come in. I'm definitely losing like chunks of the uh, the wooden spots here, which is terrible because literally what's going to end up happening then is over time this tornado is going to deteriorate this ground right here for no good reason. That's what I see happening. Unless it doesn't take blocks that... If it takes block, it, okay, if it only takes blocks that you put down, I can see that being one thing. Because everything it's took, taken so far, I think I have put down. But I mean, if you look over here, it's not like it's taken any of the blocks here. Albeit that most of these blocks have something on them. And by that something, I mean trees, but... I'm hoping that if it sweeps all this gone, and if I move my hatch down one, it's not going to keep sweeping this. Because if it is, that's just a load of crab, in all honesty. I 
Most of my dwarves are already at full health anyway, so I don't really have much to worry about. Let's go ahead and close this, though. Just in case the basca or basilisk, the uh, fragilisk decides to run out there and try to fight guys before uh, they get close. Because then he's just going to tank a whole bunch of damage. And I mean, he is good, but he's not good enough to take on like monster waves at a time by himself. So. Fifty seconds. Got the owl cat snuggling up to uh, the dwarves down there. So I think the next point of attack for us right now is to finish off the house. What the hell happened to this? We just not doing that? There we go. Basic decorating is done. So like I was saying, the next point of attack for us is to finish off the house. Okay, apparently we're not doing that. And thus from there, uh, completing the tree. Or, well, completing, maybe not, but advancing on the, the tree for sure. Great, I have more of these guys. Just gonna leave that order queued for now. Whatever. I figured as much. That still doesn't bug me. It's when they decide to start digging. If they decide to start digging. Look at that water. They went bold enough to jump down here. Oh yeah. I don't know why there's a spider just deciding to build its nest inside my house boundaries, but we're just gonna ignore that, I guess. Yes, I guess, I guess. That sounds like a lot. Okay. I try it now. Not bad. One dwarf didn't want to follow the patterns, apparently. He thought he was hilarious. No, I'm kidding. Shout out if you guys know what that's from. I love that. Literally one of my favorite things. Okay, what the hell is with this? You guys can get rid of that anytime now. Really, I'm not going this way anyway, so I might as well just leave that door closed. Not that that door is affecting it. I'm pretty sure my house is just screwed up right now. Yep. Apparently this hallway right here isn't part of my house boundaries. Ah, uh, it's because the friggin... Uh... It's because the hatch is gone. That is why. Like I said, I'm gonna plop the hatch here and pray to God that... It this doesn't start getting taken away because if it is then that's just complete and utter stupidity like I don't want to have to constantly deal with the fact that I'm gonna have to 
be replacing all these blocks all the time because a tornado comes through. Like, I understand that's basically what a tornado does, is rip up everything from the earth, but at the same time, you have to question how much you take into a video game. And I think that's just taking a little bit too much because... For me to constantly have to replace everything it rips up is not only annoying, but it's just also bad, badly created.